Praise be unto our God and Father who has given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. I say a pleasant good morning to you, my family in Christ. Thank God for this final Friday in the year 2022. Thank God for this final week that we are able to see we are alive, you are well. Yes, we may be having struggles and difficulties because of the times, but we are here. We can hear, we can see, we can move. And indeed, as believers, we ought to be looking up for our redemption drawing nigh. And today, I'm so excited. I am praising God from within. And indeed, I speak of His praise. And I want us as believers to express our gratitude to God, to express praise and adoration to Him, our God, Elohim, the self-existent one, the one who did it, who brought us from the beginning of this year to this very moment. It is in Him we live and move and have our being. Yes, in Him. It is Him who made us and not we ourselves. We are His people and the sheep of His pasture. He deserves the praise. He deserves the adoration. He's the one who fed us all year. Whether we like the food or not, He's the one who kept us. We could not do it by ourselves. We cannot do it even today. He's our keeper. He's everything that we need. There is no one like unto our God. He rides through the heavens to help us and through the skies in his majesty. He is the eternal God. He's our refuge and underneath are the everlasting arms. He deserves the glory because he will thrust out the enemy. How many times the enemy tried to get us this year, but our God, the eternal God, thrust them out. He deserves glory and honor today. Our help comes from him. Our help comes from the Lord, not from man, not from systems, not from this world's strategy. Our help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He's the God who never slumbers, nor does he sleep. He's the God who keeps Israel and he could keep us. And so let's raise a song today. Let's ascend unto God today in praise and adoration. Let's give him glory. Let's meditate today on Jude 1, 24, 25. And it says, Now to him who is able to keep you from falling, from stumbling, and to present you blameless before the presence of his glory with great joy to the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ our Lord, be glory, majesty, dominion, and authority before all times and now and forever. Amen. The word of God to the people of God. Let's sing his praise today. Let's make it glorious. He is our God. And besides him, there is no other. And he deserves the praise from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. The name of the Lord is worthy. In praise, we are healed. We are delivered. We are set free. We are saved from our enemies. In praise, God sets the atmosphere. And indeed, worship will flow. So in this final week, final Friday, we will never see it again. Let's give God praise. Let's give God thanks 
for he is good and his mercy endureth forever. Father, we praise you. Oh, with all our beings, with everything that is in us, we praise you. Hallelujah. We thank you for being God. We thank you for being Savior and Lord. You are the majestic one. You are the God who thrusts out the enemy. You are the God who keeps us. You are the God who sleeps not, nor do you slumber. You are the Almighty One who forever lives to make intercession. And we thank you for Holy Spirit that is guiding us even now. And we give you praise as you guide us through this season, this final week, final Friday, a few more days, and you'll be in a new year. And it's you who keep in us. And we thank you. We praise you that you thrust out the enemy. Hallelujah. You're the God who protects. You're the God who guides. You're the one who lays the table before us in the presence of our enemies. You're the God who is our shepherd. And we give you praise. We honor you for supplying every need according to thy riches and glory through Christ Jesus. We thank you today that you can keep us. You're the God who saves. You're the God who keeps. And we praise you. We honor you. We thank you for keeping families today. We thank you for keeping fathers and mothers and siblings. We thank you for preserving us. You're the God who preserves. You'll keep us from evil. You can keep us from falling and present us faultless before the presence of the Holy God. You're the God who does it and no one else can. And we give you glory. We give you praise. You're the God who keeps leaders in particular. Those who lead the nations and our prime minister and all the parliament and their families. You know, God who keeps and who you camp as well, camp. Hallelujah. And we thank you today. You're God. And besides you, there's no other. Let the redeem of the Lord say so today. Let praises rise from the inside today. Because of what goodness towards us and towards the children of man. Thank you today. Thank you all year long. Hallelujah. You've been with us and you promise never to leave us nor forsake us. So let us give praise and adoration and adore you. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem this morning and we give you thanks for families everywhere. We praise you for those who lead the body of Christ. Thank you. Thank you for guiding us and helping us and preparing us to indeed face all that we may need to deal with because you are our rock, our sheep, our buckler. Yes, you are hiding place. You are everything you, we need. And we give you praise. And we thank you that you are soon coming King. No matter how difficult it gets, we will look up as believers. For our redemption, joy, and I. We know you come quickly. Hallelujah. And we give you praise as we humble today in your presence and be grateful for your goodness. Help us today. We give you praise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come on, believers. Let's praise him today. He's worthy of the praise and the adoration and the glory. I don't care how difficult it may be where you at, whether it's financial, spiritual, physical, mental, God is good and he can help. He is our helper. No one else can do it but God. Let's honor him today. Have a great day in the Lord. Amen. Amen.